what's going on? We're going to put out some pine straw today. So I'm here picking it up out of the trailer. I think we're going to get about, I don't know, 40, 50 bales to do the job we do we need today. But uh, here it is. We're going to start loading some up. Not in the pine straw, I'm telling you. All right. Well, let's get it underway. All right. There is a difference in pine straw. This is long leaf straw. As you can see, the needles are really long and it's got this brownish red color to it and this is relatively fresh you can get it fresher when it's when it's real fresh it'll have kind of a, a golden red color to it but this is long leaf straw that comes from pinehurst north carolina a lot of the stuff you see in the big box store see how long that is it's a pain to spread out because it's all tangled up in the bales but it stays fluffier longer in the beds and it, it seems to take a little longer to break down. It's got a lot better color to it in the short uh, straw. But a lot of the straw you see in the big box stores is going to be short straw because it's a lot cheaper. And so when you see the price on your bales of pine straw, don't be fooled and buy the cheaper without looking at it first to see if it's, it's good quality stuff. All right, this is a neighborhood uh, association entrance I've trimmed up these bushes along the front. We're gonna pine straw this island. I had to get all the stuff out of it. We'll pine straw along over there. And then I've got a long run of bushes, well, these are trees <laughs> down the side here. So I've trimmed up all the low stuff on these so I can get under them and keep them clean. I really could stand to go up and trim these high, but that is not in the budget at this place. So they're doing good to get the bottoms trimmed out of all this. But anyway, you can see all the way down, got it cleaned out from off of the trees. Now I gotta come in and clean this up a little bit. Start spreading my straw. All right, this is a neighborhood uh, association entrance. I've trimmed up these bushes along the front we're gonna pine straw this island i had to get all the stuff out of it we'll pine straw along over there and then i've got a long run of bushes well these are trees <laughs> down the side here so i've trimmed up all the low stuff on these so i can get under them and keep them clean i really could stand to go up and trim these high but that is not in the budget at this place so uh, they're doing good to get the bottoms trimmed out of all this but anyway you can see all the way down got it cleaned out from off of the trees now i gotta come in and clean this up a little bit start spreading my straw this is what it looks like when you're spreading it out this is what a bale looks like broken open it's kind of in panels so we'll just go in and shake the stuff out under there as you can see it's all tangly that's the the why well, you know when you got guys helping you they don't like spreading the long straw because the short straw just falls out but the long straw looks so much better but i'll go ahead and throw it down and i like to come about six inches over my bed edge and i'll show you why later that's about how much coverage you get out of one bale so if you're gonna bid a job for somebody on and know how many bales you're going to need to make your price i would always estimate more bales than you need because you can they're always happy if you lower the price on them but they're never happy if you get it half done and uh come back and say i need to charge you more to get more straw but uh i would say that that is about i don't know 12 by 8 but it's kind of triangular shaped, so it's not even covering that much. But uh, lay it on thick. You'll get the, to know about how many bales you're going to need for a job after you've done a few. Anyway, there's that part. Oh my God, I'm tired of spreading out pine straw. This is a lot of work, by the way. But hang in there. I'm almost done. All right. This is 
want to take your blower there and said uh, I'm going to leave a little bit of pine straw all over the edge. Take your blower. I pull it off. Kind of miss this pine straw back into a rolled edge. And it starts to roll let off of it and some that off the top. Alright, this is what it's looking like when you wrap it up after you put your edge on it. Alright, so some things about spreading pine straw. Find you a good quality long leaf straw as fresh as possible. Spread it out thicker than what you thought you needed to. Always bring extra. You can spread it like a pro too. Fold in your edges with your blower to give you a nice, clean, finished look. All right, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, a little bonus footage. Little bonus footage. This is the island out here. Oh, and remember to pick up all these little orange strings off your pine straw. Go back around, pick, make a make a pass around after you're done, and pick those up. Also, it's a great time to trim up bushes because you don't have to worry about as detailed a cleanup because you're going to cover it all up with the pine straw. That's just a few things. I'm going to go back through and clean up this road a little bit more. But, uh, anyway, just a few things on pine straw. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, follow, like, do all that good stuff. I appreciate it as always. Thanks.